Hello, the question is, can you create an animation of a model relative to the model and not the world? The answer is not really, but you can animate relative to a parent, which is about the same thing. So for this, I'm going to create a parent of this cube in the position that the cube currently is. One way to do that is to right click on the cube, say create empty, and now we've created a game object that is in the exact same position as the cube. But it's a child of the cube and we want it to be a parent. So I'm going to drag it out of the cube and then drag the cube into it. And we've done a quick switcheroo and now the game object is in the position that the cube originally was and the cube is in a position of zero 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 relative to its parent. I'm going to rename that to cube whoops cube parent. And now if we click on the cube, go to the animation window and add a property, for example a transform position, we can start animating this along its x-axis. The x-axis now starting at zero because this animation is relative to its parent and the cube is currently zero, zero, zero. So if we go over to the end of the animation and animate it across by say two, now when we play this, the cube moves from zero to two along its local X axis. And this becomes more complicated when we start rotating the parent. So if you take the cube parent and we rotate it a little bit like 120-ish degrees, go back to the cube, this cube is now still animating along its local x-axis, but because its x-axis has rotated along with its parent, the cube x-axis no longer matches up with the world x-axis. And we can double check what the local axis is by clicking on the cube and going up into this little toggle switch up in the top left-hand corner, clicking global, which will turn us into local mode. And now if we hit our move tool, we can see that the cube's x-axis is along this way. And if we click that again, now the little widget has, or gizmo, or whatever it's called, has reverted back to the world axis. So that's a very handy tool to be using. All right, that's how to animate stuff according to a parent.